Hi, this is Cindy Knuckles, and I'm going to show you really quick how to use my Scrap Simple Actions photo effects. There are three different actions. One adds a radio blur, which is kind of a cool um, effect, and then uh, another one that softens and adds a nice contrast to your photo, and then one that sharpens and clarifies. And you can use these on photos or embellishments or papers or whatever. Um, the Sharpen and Clarify does let you control or adjust how much um, sharpening clarification that you have before you merge it. It'll, it'll uh, stop and, and tell you that you can adjust it now and then, and then when you're done you can continue running it. Okay, so let's get started. I've opened a picture and let's do the radial blur first. Now usually um, you're going to get different results depending on what the photo is of. If it's a person, um, the head should usually be kind of in the same place hers is here or even in the middle will work. Um, if you have a photo more down here it's, it might look kind of funny. Just play around with it. So let's go ahead and select radial blur and push play. Okay now that looks funny. <laughs> I mean you could leave it like that if you really wanted to. But here we want to stop and we're going to select um, make sure that our foreground color is black and we're going to get a nice big soft round brush okay and you see so you notice there's layer one over here okay so you're going to want to make sure that that now that should be selected you shouldn't have a problem and you're just going to erase what you want to show through basically the area of the photo that you want to be clear you could just leave her face or you can do all of her oops my computer's kind of being slow I think I need to delete some files or something okay well, that just gives you an idea it's kind of a cool effect going on and then you um, would run come back over here when you're done and you're happy with it come back to your action palette and push play and then it merges your two layers okay which I'm gonna undo I'm gonna get rid of this that's the other thing I forgot to mention which is very important always make a duplicate of your original okay now let's do the next one, which is soften and, uh, and you know up the contrast. Now see here, we can adjust that. See here we go. You can go up to the opacity here in your layers palette, and you see layer ones right here. And see this is the original picture, and then you can just play with it till you like it. You could go way up, and then it's. Really, it's kind of a cool effect. Just however much you want, and you see it softens and it kind of um, saturates the colors a bit. Okay, and then you would hit merge. Undo that and drag that down. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Sharpen and clarify. Push play. Now see that it's a little bit too much sharpening, but again, we go over into our layers palette. And up here where it says opacity or opacity, you're gonna go down. Let's go all the way to the original. And you can just go along until it sharpens. Go back, you can see the difference. Things are in more in detail. And then again you would hit play to merge it. Oops, actually <laughs> I don't quite know what I did there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so you can just see how it, you can start seeing the detail in here. See how it's a little bit more blurry, blurry, and then see how it starts to come clear. Okay. Now, again, remember that these can be used on papers or embellishments, or say you, you scan something in memorabilia and it's a little fuzzy you can run this sharpen and clarify. And that's about it.
Thank you and have fun.